from the St. Ignatius Chapel at the Manresa Jesuit Spiritual Renewal Center in Pickering, Ontario. The National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents the Daily TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. I am Father Francis Salesiar. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contributions from three donors. The first is an anonymous donor from Red Deer, Alberta, for their personal intentions. The second is Noreen Crosby and family from Don Mills, Ontario, in memory of her husband, Richard, who died on September 19, 2007. For the living and deceased members of the O'Connor and Crosby families, in thanksgiving for her family, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, and for the souls in purgatory. The third is Lena Araneta Santiago and family from Vancouver, British Columbia, to commemorate the fifth death anniversary of Danilo H. Santiago, loving husband, father, and Lolo. For the souls in purgatory and for the people of her beloved Philippines. Our sincere thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we come together today, we celebrate the memorial of St. Pius of Petrilcina. As we come to celebrate and honor his life and his contribution, we are reminded through the scriptures of today how we need to listen attentive to the scripture, how we need to practice what we listen. Let us ask God's pardon and mercy for the moments where we have failed to appreciate the word that comes to us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Maria Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who by the singular grace gave the priest Saint Pius a share in the cross of your son, and by means of his ministry renewed the wonders of your mercy, grant that through his intercession we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ, and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. My child, do not withhold good from those to whom it is due, when it is in your power to do it. Do not say to your neighbor, go and come again. Tomorrow I will give it, when you have it with you. Do not plan harm against your neighbor who lives trustingly beside you. Do not quarrel with anyone without cause when no harm has been done to you. Do not envy the violent, for they do not choose any of their ways. For the perverse are an abomination to the Lord, but the upright are in his confidence. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the abode of the righteous. Toward the scorners he is scornful, but to the humble he shows favor. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
reproach against their neighbors, in whose eyes the wicked are despised, but who honor those who fear the Lord. The just shall who stand by their oath even to their hurt, who do not lend money at interest, and do not take a bribe against the innocent. Those who do these things shall never be moved. The just shall The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the people, No one after lighting a lamp hides it under a jar or puts it under a bed, but puts it on a lampstand so those who enter may see the light. For nothing is hidden that will not be disclosed, nor is anything secret that will not become known and come to light. Then pay attention to how you listen, for to those who have, more will be given. And from those who do not have, even what they seem to have will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. There is a story of this man who challenged his wife with a riddle. The man began, just imagine you are traveling in a train and you are the engineer of the train. There are 36 people on board. At the first stop, 10 get off and then two get on. At the next stop, no one gets off, but five get on. At the third stop, four get off and two get on. Now for the question, what is the name of the engineer? (laughs) How should I know, snap the wife? The husband continued again. I'm going to repeat. Just imagine you're traveling in a train and you are the engineer of the train. There are 36 people on the board. At the first stop, 10 get off, two get on. The next stop, no one gets off and five get on. And the third stop, four get off and two get on. Now for the question, what is the name of the engineer? The wife, you can imagine, grew angry and said, how would I know the engineer's name? See, you never listen, continued the husband. Right at the start, I said, you are the engineer of the train. The central story shows how we often fail to listen carefully. Pay attention to how you listen for those who have more will be given more. From those who do not have, even what they seem to have will be taken away. It is important that we 
interpret this passage in continuity with what had happened before this. Today's passage continues directly from the parable of the sower and its explanation in which Jesus highlights the fact that various soils, meaning our hearts, receive the seed, the word of God, in various ways. And only the soil that bears fruit, the heart that obeys, has truly received the seed or the word. Now, through the gospel of today, Jesus takes his listeners further in their reflection by talking about the significance of light and the importance of listening carefully to his words. The imagery of a lamp is powerful. It represents not just knowledge, but the active, visible faith that should shine out for others to see. The purpose of lighting a lamp is not to hide it, but to place it where it can illuminate the darkness and guide others. Similarly, our faith, our understanding, and our relationship with God are not meant to be hidden or kept private. They are meant to be shared, to shine brightly in a world that so desperately needs light. The seed, the word, and the light we receive must be given to others. Jesus concludes this series of parables with a warning. For those who have, more will be given. He's emphasizing the principle of spiritual growth. Those who embrace God's word and who nurture it in their hearts will find their faith and understanding increasing. But those who neglect it, who fail to act on what they have heard, will lose even the little they possess. This is a sobering reminder that spiritual complacency can lead to spiritual poverty. In our lives, we could have come across people who have neglected their faith or abandoned it completely. If you take time to analyze, most of the time their faith is shallow to begin with, and when the hardness of life, moments of difficulties in relationships, finances or health problems hit them hard, it is tough for them to stand up. Often they imagine a God who is like a genie who should grant their wishes. And if their problems are not fixed, they are in flux. They cannot have a relationship with the God any longer. Even the little they had seemed to be taken away. Just before the Mass, as I was preparing, I just heard from one of the candors. He was talking about his own experience of singing. If you don't use it, you lose it. And that's, in a way, what Jesus reminds us. To call ourselves to what we have, we need to continuously grow in our faith, grow in our trust, grow in our understanding. Only then God could work with us. Others, we could be like any other common folk who are not able to understand the work of God, who are not able to understand the guiding hand of God, but they want everything to be done for them. They don't understand God's ways. So, dear brothers and sisters, the liturgy of today challenges us to be attentive and responsive to the word of God. We need to listen attentively to the word that comes to us. And we need to strive to be faithful stewards of the light, allowing it to shine through us and draw others to the love and truth of Jesus Christ. The more we embrace and act on the truth we receive, the more we will be entrusted with. For to those who have more, those who have more will be given. And from those who do not have, even what they seem to have, will be taken away. Let us bring forth our prayers and petitions. We pray for ourselves, for an openness. Openness to understand that God is with us 
even when we don't receive what we pray for, what we need. For that open understanding, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our family members, particularly those who have fallen away from faith, who were praying for certain things or whatever happened in their life journey, they have turned away from their faith. May they have the openness to listen, to listen to the word of God attentively. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Continue to offer our prayers for the sick, particularly those who are going through terminal illness for whom there is no hope, that they may continue to find hope and strength through the word of God and through the liturgy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We are reminded through the scriptures of today that we need to light our lamps and put it on the lampstand. May we become examples of God's love to the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our daily TV Mass Prayer Intentions book, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer our community prayer this month to our Blessed Mother, who through her seven sorrows shared in our pain and suffering. Through her intercession, we pray for the sick and for those who care for them, that both will find their faith and hope renewed and deepened. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We take a moment of silence to bring to God our own personal needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we bring before you all these prayers through the intercession of Padre Pio, your servant, whose feast we celebrate today. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offering placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed pious, so that as you brought him glory, you may through these sacred mysteries grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For us on the festival of St. Pius, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Is he? 
you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy the for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Francis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, and the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul so that I may unite myself wholly to you, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. May the partaking of the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed pious, that we may Preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace to love and serve one another. Thanks be to God. God. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass.